if you're a watcher of my video, you know I talked about AI and how I said it was going to be much more of an assistive technology rather than a replacing technology. What I mean by that, that AI in the immediate future, next, I guess, five to ten years, it won't be replacing jobs as much as people might think as it is just going to be helping, helping you in your job, depending on the circumstances. Certain jobs might get replaced, but software development, coding, so forth, AI is not going to replace that anytime soon. But where you'll see AI come in, and it's just started, as I had predicted, you're seeing it being used in terms of code completion. If I remember, I'll put a link here underneath where you can take a look. So there is a, I don't know if it's a startup or a guy put together an AI that basically uh, they, they, they scan GitHub and uh, they're able to provide uh, inside of certain code editors far superior, so they claim, I haven't looked at it, I haven't tested it, but they claim far superior code completion assistive technology, if you will. Now, any good IDE, any good code editor will do code completion for you, which will, you know, will literally complete the code that you're typing out. Just makes it easier for you to write code, and I recommend everybody use one. Like a fool, uh, well, not like a fool, but like a hardcore nerd back in the early 90s, my first couple years of writing Java code, I wrote it with Notepad, because I was like, I was hardcore. I'm not gonna use no IDE, Integrated Development Environment. I'm not gonna use no code editor. That was stupid. Uh, when I went into, when I finally said I'm gonna use an IDE and code editors, especially a full-blown IDE, my Java coding just went way up because it just helps along the way. Anyhow, so now you have AI being applied in this context where the AI is supposed to be is supposed to be able to provide better code hinting and code completion for you. I'll put a link below in this video. You can t check that out. It's a brand new project. The license isn't free, but uh, yeah, it just plugs into your code editor. There you go. Just an example of how AI is slowly coming into the workplace. And like so many other technologies, like all other technologies, it's going to assist us. It's just going to help take away some of the... Uh, more monotonous work that we don't have to do. Remember, as I tell people all the time, uh, the difference between a great coder and a not so great coder, a great coder has a good understanding of fundamentals. And the hardest thing about building applications is not so much whether you can come up with an algorithm, that's very rare. Algorithm-based training is uh, silliness in my opinion overall, with some exceptions. No, it's system design. Its structure, its overall macro structure of an application and of the development process, which separates the beginners from the pros. But anyhow, AI won't get there anytime soon, but they can definitely help you with some of the detailed work. It's starting anyway. All right, that's it for this bonus content.